Hi everyone, so this is just a very quick intro of OpenSong, the software, how it looks, etc. So, first of all, what is it? What is it for? So OpenSong is presentation software that's geared towards the kind of needs that a church setup would have. So it allows you to do things you can't do in more typical presentation software like PowerPoint and Keynote. For example, add songs or scriptures on the fly or very quickly just input, even when you're building a presentation before a service, input songs and scriptures quite easily without having to find and copy and paste text and edit individual slides. It has some other useful features and the way it's set up is, is useful, but we'll see that as we go along. For now, we just want to have a, have a quick overview of what OpenSong looks like. So this is free software that anyone can download. And so feel free to download it yourself and have a play around. You can do it while watching to kind of look at things while you're while you're seeing it. So in this first um, tour, we're not going to look at the menu items. You can look at those yourself, have a, have a play around if you need. But most of what we need is what we see here. So first of all, you see in the top that there's two tabs, one for set mode, which we're currently in, and one for song mode, which I think by default, open song will usually open in. Um, but it's very easy just to click on set mode. That's often what you'll need to be in, at least to start with. So set mode we have here is where we can see, choose, make, work with sets. And what do they mean by sets? It's basically really a, a big umbrella presentation made up of sort of mini presentation sets of slides, songs, scriptures, announcements, images, anything that you've got in there. So typically the way I'm currently working, I will create a set um, for each day. So our church service normally has a Sabbath school service in the morning, followed by a midday um, family service, which we call divine service. I will normally put them all together in one continuous set at the moment. And so here we have where you can um, create or choose your sets and you can see we currently um, have selected an example set. So what we're looking at now is the content for that example set that came with the software. Um, so that's where you choose between sets. Under there you have some um, a group of um, actions that relate to the current set you're in. And so save, save as, delete, etc. All of this relates to the set we're in. We won't need all of the options that we can see in most of the most of the sets of actions very often, um, but it's very easy to, to, to see what you need and it's not too busy so that you can get overwhelmed and not know where you need to go. So looking at sets, looking at the current set, and then within sets, there are what they call different types of items. And that's just basically content that will be projected to your screen. And so items can be songs, scriptures, slides, etc. But this group on the left is where you can add new items to your set. And this group of things on the right is currently greyed out um, because it relates to the current item you've clicked on. If we click on one, they won't be grayed out anymore because there are things you can do with that item. Now this will look very complicated, don't worry about that. Um, let's go with the scripture, that's a bit more friendly. But yes, things you can do with your current item. And then under that, you can see all the items that are in your set in order. So this is how they'll be presented. And then there's some other options that you don't need to worry about too much at this stage. Um, here we have the main window where you can see the content that will be on your slides. Um, on your items and here is information such as title, subtitle and name which is just the internal name that it's displayed on in our software when we're looking for it and clicking on it. That doesn't necess that doesn't go out to the audience at all so you can put what you want there. Um, and then again some other things that aren't necessarily used much there is a place to put notes I don't really use that um, but it is there. So that's the set mode and I'm going to now show us what we see when we're actually trying to present. Now I don't have an external monitor um, connected, so I don't have the option to actually present dual screen. Um, single screen isn't very useful because it will show up the main presentation on your screen, full screen, so you can't see the presentation helper. If we do preview dual screen, you can see the presentation helper and you can see a little window with a preview of what would go to the external um, projector or external screen. So we're going to preview dual screen and you can see now we have our presentation helper here and here 
we have a preview of what would be on the projector or on an external monitor. So here we have all the same content, that all the same items that were in the set that we, we've been using. And um, you can actually click through these and jump through them and um, jump between them as well. And you can see what's currently being projected, which obviously in preview dual screen is right there next to you. But when you're on dual screen, it will be off on the projector. So it's quite useful to see what's currently going to the projector. And then you can see a preview of what's coming next and what that looks like. You've also got mode here, which allows you to do things like just set the screen to black, hide your screen, freeze your screen. Um, again, we can look at what that means later. And then we've got some actions here, things you can do while you're actually presenting, like put a, a big announcement up on the screen, add a song, add a scripture. Those are your most useful ones. And then here you have a list of other shortcut keys that might be useful while you're presenting to jump through things. So again, we'll look at all of this in more detail um, when we're actually um, doing a video on managing the sets. Um, but that's an idea of what it looks like to get familiar with it. We're going to come out of this now. So close the presentation helper and our preview. And I'll just quickly show you song mode um, before we um, close out this little introductory video. So song mode is where you can edit your bank of songs. <coughs> Excuse me. The open song will will look through to add songs to your items, to add presentations to your to your sets rather, to add song items to your sets to use their lingo. And so here you've got things you can do with the songs. Here you've got things you can do to a song that you've clicked on. Um, here you've got your full list of songs um, that are in your bank. So this is the Seventh Day Adventist hymnal. Um, here you've got the content of any songs that you've clicked on. So here you've got the lyrics basically and then some other options for information you might need. This one, this presentation is a very important, useful one that tells it what order to, to present the, the verses in. But again, we'll look at that in more detail. And then there's some more things here that we won't really use that much um, for our needs in our specific church. But that is an overview, whistle stop tour of um, Open Song, and then we'll look at some videos of actually using it.